Hello everyone, my name is Shubham and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to discuss on how you can create the connection pool for Tomcat server in its installation folder. For the web application, which we have deployed through the hard deployment way and the console deployment way. So if you don't know about uh, how to do the deployment of web application through hard deployment way and the console deployment way, I recommend you to watch my previous video to understand about this deployment ways. I'm going to put the link for the videos in the description section so that you can go through this video. Now, before I get started with my today's video, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that you'll get updated with every video uploaded in my YouTube channel. Now coming to the today's discussion. That is creating the connection pool for your Tomcat server in the installation folder. Okay, so before I get started with that, first thing you need to understand about the connection pool is what is a pool and what is a connection pool. So pool is nothing but the collection of same type of an object stored to uh, so that we can have the reusability for this existing objects. We can take an example of string here. String maintains its own uh, string pooling. Okay, so in the string pooling, we store the string literals which we commonly use okay so whenever that uh, string literal is used it is it, it gets stored in the string pooling so that we can have the reusability for the string literal likewise collection pool is same the collection pool is the collection of readily available jdbc connection object so same type of object here is the jdbc connection object so that we can have the reusability for them okay and why do we need this connection pool so the thing is that uh, in a server when this connection object is created to perform the crud operation so this connection object is goes beyond the capacity of server can handle so in that condition your server might going to get crash okay and to solve this issue to to limit this issue of uh, your server getting crash because of the because of this huge number of the connection object which are created by the different user we use the connection pool so that we we already create the certain number of a connection object in your connection pool and we reuse them okay now let us understand about how we can create the connection pool in your tomcat server and also how to get the access to the connection object inside this connection pool the first and main thing here we need to understand about the data source so data source acts as an entry point for your connection pool and you by using the data source object we can retrieve the connection object from your connection pool okay so first thing we are doing here is to create your data source object and we are putting this data source object in your jndi registry so jndi registry is nothing but the java naming and directory interface so it provides the global visibility for your data source object because if you consider the data source x uh, data source scope in your project it will be limited to your project but if you want to provide it to the global visibility we need to put the reference of this data source object in your jndr registry okay so and this data source object acts as an entry point for your jndr connection pool and using this data source object we can retrieve the connection object okay so and this connection object will talk with your database uh, so to, as to perform the crud operation okay so now coming to the part of how we can create the connection pool in your uh, tomcat it is very simple to create a connection pool in your tomcat server the first thing we need to do is to look for this resources tag in your tomcat uh, documentation or we can search for this resources tag in the internet also by using our own keywords okay so i'm going to search for this resources tag in the internet okay this is resources tag in the internet and then after you get this resources tag you need to paste this resources tag in the context.xml file inside this context.xml file you're going to have the context tag inside this context tag you need to 
paste this code and modif do the modification to this uh, resources tag according to your requirement. And lastly, you need to write the lookup code. Okay, so lookup code to get the access to your connection object inside your connection pool. So now let's get started with the, doing these things. Now I'm going to search for the Tomcat resources for uh, resources tag. For this, I'm going to type Tomcat resources tag. So after coming to this uh, searching, we're going to find this first link. Okay, so this first link, click on this first link. Now coming after this page, search for the resources tag where you can specify your data source details and your connection pool details. Okay, so here you can find, here you can find this resources tag where you can specify your data source details as well as your connection pooling details. Okay, and also, also this, uh, this attributes you can specify inside your resources tag for your connection pooling okay so like maximum active maximum number of the connection that can be allocated from this pool at the same time okay so these are the different connection pool properties you can use now uh, you need to copy this resources tag completely i'm copying it copy it now go to the go to the tomcat installation folder okay so i'm going to this tomcat installation folder here my tomcat 9 is installed i'm opening this folder here you need to go inside this con folder okay so let me show you just this this con folder okay this con folder inside Inside this con folder, you're going to find this context.xml uh, file. Okay, so this context.xml file, you need to go inside this context.xml file. Okay, so I'm opening this file. Inside this uh, file, you're going to find this context tag. Inside this context tag, you need to paste your resources code tag. Okay, so here I'm pasting it. Now, now you need to do some modification according to your requirements. So I'm going to do some modifications like the JDBC name, okay? So data source name, which is JDS for me. Here you no need to make any changes, but yes, username, which is in case for me, which is C double hash as W. The password is Shubham double five, which I've just created. I'm going to use the Oracle database and uh, OGDBC8 driver. So for this, I'm having the driver class name as Oracle JDBC driver dot Oracle driver. Okay. So and the URL is JDBC Oracle thin which is type for driver host name local host the port number where your oracle services are running 1521 and the your database logical name okay so i want to maintain up to the 100 connection uh, objects in my string pool maximum 100 connections and i want to have the ideal of 10 connection objects okay after you are done with this save the changes and exit from this file so this is how you can create your data source object and put in the JNDI registry and also to provide the specifications for your connection pooling. Now, next thing is to write the lookup code for your, uh, to get this data source object and to get the connection object. So how we can do that, for this I'm having this one web application, okay? So you can see this one web application, which I've already created okay so i'm going to use the crud operation database crud operation inside this web application 
for this i'm having one class okay so this employee search servlet class for which i have already created the dot class file and inside this uh, servlet class okay so i'm opening the servlet class to show you the source code okay so here you can see that i have already written the lookup code so where you can find this lookup code is you just need to go to this uh, web page where i have copied from where i have copied my resources tag and just about that resources tag you're going to find this code okay so this block of code so you just need to copy this code as a lookup code okay so this code which is a context initial init ctx equals to new initial ctx up to this point you need to copy your code okay so using this code i have already written my uh, lookup code inside my uh, static method which is a get connection method you can take any name for this method okay so where i am retrieving my data source object using the lookup method okay so first i need to provide this prefixes also so you need to remember about this prefixes also okay so you need to read uh, and lastly i am getting my data source object and from the data source object i am getting my connection object okay so this is how you can write your um, lookup code now let me just deploy my web application to show that it is working very fine okay so i'm going to copy my web application and going to copy the directory inside the web apps folder of tomcat server now i need to start my tomcat server okay press on the yes on the pop up window now your tomcat server is starting so your server is uh, started successfully now you need to open your web browser open a new window and type localhost colon port number which is 8099 for me the the web application name which is uh, employee search app for me i have already configured my welcome file okay so in this web uh, in this uh, web application i need to provide the employee number and according to that employee number i'm going to i'm going to get the employee record okay so i'm going to provide the employee number as 8001 which is already available in my web app, uh, in my emp table of oracle database okay so as you can see here that okay so i'm getting the record by passing my employee number so I'm successfully able to um, interact with my database. Okay, so this is how you can create the connection pool in your Tomcat server. Thank you for watching this video.